This example includes a volume rebate. Now again, on your right hand side, you will identify I've included my five steps and I have identified that this example falls within my step three where we need to determine our transaction price and there is a variable consideration included. Then again, if there is a variable consideration, we need to ask ourselves the question, do we estimate our value based on our expected value or our most likely? And two, it has to be highly probable that our revenue will not be reversed. Now, when we look at the information provided, I'm going to start reading from our second paragraph. In terms of the contract, K Limited will sell a product to this customer at 25 Rand per unit. The contract also states that if the customer purchases a thousand units or more in the current year, the price per unit will be reduced retrospectively to 20 Rand and the customer will be entitled to a cash refund at the end of the calendar year. Now, immediately when you identify the word cash refund, you need to think about your refund liability account and you need to know that that account you need to update at year end. Now, what will the value be if we will have to calculate our refund liability? This will be the 25 Rand initially minus the 20 Rand. And this is a 5 Rand refund liability. Now, this means that the consideration to which K Limited will be entitled is variable. The fact that we do not know if this is going to happen or not. Based on this information, do we have to use our expected value method or our most likely? What is the options? Our first option is that either the client can purchase a thousand plus units. If this is the option, then the client will pay 20 Rand per unit and will receive a refund liability of five Rand per unit. And we will have to provide for that refund liability. The second option is that the client will not purchase more than a thousand units, less than a thousand, and we will have to recognize revenue at 25 Rand per unit. We need to determine that it is highly probable that the revenue will not be reversed. In the first scenario, they indicate to us, based on historical experience related to this customer, that they can determine that the customer will purchase a thousand units or more. Therefore, we now know that we can apply our first option and we need to account for the revenue and we need to ensure that we provide for our refund liability. Therefore, guys, our bank will increase with a 25 Rand times a thousand units and this will be 25,000. We can credit our revenue with a 20 Rand per unit, therefore 20 Rand times a thousand and this will be 20,000, and we can credit our refund liability with 5,000. Then, remember at year end, important that you allocate your refund liability to your bank when payment is made. Therefore, we will then debit our refund liability and credit our bank account with a 5,000. Then, if they indicate to us that our client only bought 800 units, this is an easy one, guys. You will debit bank and credit revenue. Now, let's have a look at scenario number three. At the inception of the contract, K Limited, based on historical experience related to this customer, determined that the customer will not purchase a thousand units or more in the year. And K Limited will include the variable consideration of 5 Rand per unit in the transaction price and recognize revenue at 25 Rand per unit. Now, guys, important, this is at inception of our contract. However, during the year, the customer purchased 400 units for the first six months and then another 800 units in the 
second six month period of the year. Therefore, 1,200 units. Kali Limited will have to adjust the transaction price to 20 Rand per unit since more than a thousand units were purchased by the customer. This will require that K Limited will have to remeasure the amount of revenue it recognized in the first six month period. Now, if we look at the revenue that it recognized in the first six months, this will be the 400 units times the 25 Rand. Therefore, they have recognized the 10,000 debit bank and credit revenue. Now we need to adjust this and we will have to create our refund liability account with a 5 Rand difference. Then when they sell the 800 units in the second six months, we will debit our bank, credit revenue and credit our refund liability account. And then important at the end of the calendar year, when the refund liability is paid out, you will have to debit your refund liability and credit your bank account.